In this tutorial, we are going to use proportion to solve percentage problems. The first problem is asking us to figure out what 24% of 250 is. The first thing that we want to do is write a fraction bar, then an equal sign, and then a fraction bar. The next thing that we want to do is take the 24% and express that as a fraction. And a percentage is always out of 100, so we are going to write 24% as 24 out of 100. And we want to figure out, if we have 24 out of 100, what will that be equal to out of 250? So we are going to write the 250 for the denominator. If you ever see a number and the word of immediately before that number, that number is going to be a total or your denominator. So what we are trying to do is figure out what quantity out of 250 is equivalent to 24 out of 100. So what we're going to do is figure out what this blank value is, and we're going to start by writing a variable in that spot. Um, you can really use any variable that you wish, but I'm just going to use x to represent the unknown quantity. And we are going to take advantage of the fact that when you have two fractions or rates equivalent to each other, that when you cross multiply, you should come up with the same product. 24 times 250 will be equal to 100 times whatever the value of x is. So to figure out what x is, we can start by multiplying 250 by 24. So let's start with this 4 here and multiply it by 250. 4 times 250 is 1,000. We're done with this place value, so we just stick a 0 in that spot. And then we multiply 2 times 250 at the top, which is 500. So we can just write 500 in this position. Now we just add 1,000 and 5,000, which is equivalent to 6,000. Once you have cross-multiplied, you can take that total and divide it by the value that is directly diagonal from the x value that you are looking for. So we are going to take 6,000 and divide it by 100. Now whenever you divide any number by 100, there is a quick method to figure out what your answer is. If you take the decimal point of a number and move it two spaces to the left, it will automatically make your number 100 times smaller. So if we divide 6,000 by 100, we can just add a decimal point to the end of that number. Notice that this value is still 6,000, and then move it two place values to the left. Doing this will make the value 100 times smaller, and you can do this with any number. So we would say that 6,000 divided by 100 is equal to 60. So x is equal to 60. That just means that 60 out of 250 is an equivalent rate as compared to 24 out of 100. And that is why 60 out of 250 is equal to 24%. Let's try another example. For this example, we have to figure out what 80% of 360 is. Now, we could generally say that 80% takes up most of 100. Therefore, the answer we are looking for should take up most of 360. So let's start by expressing our percentage as a fraction. We would write that as 80 out of 100. And for the other rate, we will write 360 as our denominator. Because of the word of in front of it would indicate that we are talking about a whole or a total. So how much out of 360 is equal to 80 out of 100? Well, to figure out this unknown value, we can start by multiplying 80 by 360. So we go off to the side here and multiply these two quantities together. And because this place value starts with a 0, we can just drop that down. And then what we can do is multiply 8 times this 0, which is 0. 8 times 6 is 48. We carry the 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 more is 28. So we have a product of 28,800. After you get your product, you must divide that by the number directly across from x, which would be 100. And remember, whenever dividing by 100, just move your decimal point two spaces to the left to make it 100 times smaller. 
And if your number does not have a decimal point, simply add one to the end of that number and then move it two spaces to the left. So in this case, 28,800 would be divided by 100 to get 288. So we can express that the x value is equal to 288. Let's try a different example. This time, notice the problem does not give the percentage. Our job is to figure out what percent 45 is out of 75. Whenever you see a number followed by the word is, that will indicate that that value is a numerator. And because 75 is preceded with the word of, that will be our denominator. So 45 is the part and 75 is the whole. At that rate, what would that be out of 100? If we figure out what equivalent rate out of 100 that would be, that will give us what the percentage is of 45 out of 75. So let's stick an x for a variable in that position, and then we start by multiplying 100 times 45, which would be equal to 4,500, and then we take that product and we divide it by 75. 75 cannot go into this place value or this, but 75 can be divided into 450. And I estimate that 75 can be divided into 456 times. So let's just check on the side here. And 75 goes into 450 exactly six times. So we write the product of 6 times 75 on the bottom and subtract, which leaves us with nothing. But we still have one more place value to deal with. So we bring down that 0. And because 75 does not fit into nothing, we have to put a 0 in this place value right here. So we would say that the x value in this problem is equal to 60. But understand that this x value is 60%. Because we were looking for the percentage, we have to make sure to express our answer in terms of a percent. Let's try another example similar to this one. This time we are trying to figure out what percent is 216 out of 450. So we start by writing 216 as our numerator and 450 as our denominator. Next we write x over 100, and we have to determine how much out of 100 is equal to 216 out of 450. And we start by cross multiplying 216 by 100. So we just have to write 216 and add two zeros. Next, we divide that total by the value directly diagonal from x, which is 450. We cannot write any digits on top of these place values. And we have to determine how many groups of 450 can be divided into 2,160. 450 can be divided into 2,164 times, which would give us a product of 1,800. Next, we subtract 1,800 from 2,160, and that would give us a difference of 360. And we have to drop the zero from our next place value and then divide 450 into 3,600, and that can be divided into 3,600 a total of 8 times. 8 times 450 is exactly 3,600, leaving us with nothing remaining. So we would say that 216 out of 450 is equal to 48%. And that is just a few examples of how you can use proportions to solve percentage problems.